bitch I ball, ho you lame Look at my lane, switching lanes Look at my nines, look at my blazers Look at my fours, caught with laser As a sneakerhead, you deal with a lot of criticism on a daily basis You'll get it from your friends, your family, your peers A boyfriend, a girlfriend Really anyone who's not a sneakerhead and doesn't understand Why we spend so much money on sneakers And go to the extremes that we go to to obtain these sneakers You'll get a lot of questions and statements like they're just sneakers. Are you serious? Why would you spend so much on sneakers? Do you know what I could buy with that amount of money? You know those only took like $5 to make? And you're really gonna spend that much? Nah, you're stupid for spending that much on sneakers, bro. You're gonna go broke buying sneakers and then you're gonna regret it one day. Yo, I'm telling you, bro, that sneaker stuff is for the kids. It's time to boss up and get on your grown man. Sneakerheads who handle things the right way are true investors. Obviously, not every pair of sneakers holds the same investment opportunity, but if you know what you're doing, or if you do a little research, one can have a good idea as to which sneakers are good investments and which sneakers aren't good investments. Now, this is where I expose the critics, because a lot of their comments are so backwards and untrue. There are a lot of common activities that can be more costly than buying sneakers. And the crazy thing is, a lot of these activities are things that your critics do on a daily to weekly basis. A lot of people spend money on food and fancy restaurants. Now, nice meals at fancy restaurants are cool and all that. I don't know about y'all, but I have a hard time spending a lot of money on food knowing that I'm going to shit it out the next day. <laughs> Ladies, I know some of y'all spend hundreds of dollars on your nails and hair just for it to last a couple weeks, maybe a month. I got sneakers that I've had for years that don't need any type of, you know, regular maintenance or, 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 or maintaining because they are what they are. It was a one-time cost. I know a lot of people get high every day. I know a lot of people get high multiple times a day just to be sober again in a couple hours. I buy sneakers one time and it's an all-time high. This one goes over a lot of people's heads. You don't notice it, but a lot of people spend a lot of money on going out just for one night. Let's just say you go out, you want to go to the club. You're going to pay at least $20 to get in. By the time you sit down and take a couple shots and then take an Uber to get yourself home safely, you, you could have copped yourself a pair of kicks. And that's just going out for one night. Some people go out every week on vacations. Now, vacations can cost anywhere from hundreds to thousands of dollars. You out wherever you are, you, 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 want, you feel like you're on top of the world. You ain't worried about work. You're not worried about school. You're not worried about none of the drama you have at home. And as soon as you get back home, all of that comes back. And all those hundreds and thousands you spent on that vacation is all gone. And you're not getting it back. And you got nothing to show for it but a couple pictures, a couple videos, you know, the little Instagram archives and the, and the Snapchat memories, but that's it. Now, there's nothing wrong with spending money on food, on vacations, on hair, nails, or any type of fun going out or any type of experience. There's nothing wrong with that because I like to have fun myself. But in the event where you're going to spend a lot of money on something so temporary, you can't really criticize the investors, the people that's taking their money, spending it on something that they can get money back from at a later date. You know, after that meal is over, after that bottle's finished, after the club closes, after them nails get messed up, after that hair gets messed up, after that weave gets a little, you know, overdue, you don't have nothing to show for that. All you have is the memory and the experience, and you could talk about it, but to be honest with you, nobody cares. <laughs> All of these sneakers right here can be resold for something else. I can't say the same about the vacations I've taken, or the meals that I've eaten, or the, you know, the, the times I went out and had a good time. All of that is cool and it's fun, but it's very temporary. It's very in the moment. It doesn't, you don't have nothing to show for it in the future. So, if y'all are cool spending money on temporary things, by all means, go for it, because I'm not knocking you. All I'm saying is, if you're going to spend money on temporary things, please, please, please leave the investors alone. We hardworking people, you know what I'm saying? We don't deserve the criticism that we get. I just want to encourage everyone to do what they love doing and to find a way to make money from it. For those of you who are like me, who like sneakers, who like to collect them, keep collecting them. Don't let anybody tell you that what you're doing is stupid or what you're doing is dumb because chances are you're investing more money than that person telling you that. Those Jordans that you just bought can be resold for almost as much as you bought them for, sometimes even more than you bought them for. But that person who went and spent money on an experience is not getting one penny back from that experience at all. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys uh, picked up a few things from this video. And um, if you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. And um, be on the lookout for the next video. I appreciate everyone who watched. Thank you.